Yeah, so I wanted to have a chat to you guys about the Christmas break. The holiday season definitely brings out extremities. Um, you know, for some it's it's a time when, you know, to be excited and and to celebrate and for happiness and love and all that. And then for others, um, it can be a trigger of stress, anxiety, um, sadness, loneliness, resentment. Um, you know, I think because it is quite generally quite family orientated it's, it's where a lot of um unresolved issues seem to surface as well um it's also a time when for many like there's you know work has stopped and quite often that habit of work keeps us occupied and focused and often distracted from stuff that we haven't processed within ourselves so then when that, that distraction is removed, a lot of that, those unresolved challenges will surface. And it's similar in a meditation. It's not until you actually stop um, that these unresolved problems seem to surface. And um, it, 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 But it's also actually an incredible opportunity for insight as well. It's hard to actually know what's going on inside yourself if you don't actually stop to, to see what is actually going on inside, right? Um, and for myself, when I was going through, you know, mentally challenging times, um, I found the hardest, um, the hardest parts were negotiating, um, like events, trying to get through events. So whether that was a birthday, a wedding, um, dinner out with friends, um, uh, it, it could have been, I mean, my wedding, I was like right when I was um, at my worst is when I got, got married and, and my, my own wedding was just, it was an absolute roller coaster, And which was it's probably the part that I'm, I'm most sad about going through all that during that time is because even as a kid, I always look forward to, to my wedding. Um, but that's another conversation. And then also... Um, you know, holiday season, so whether it's Easter or Christmas. And when I worked out why, and I started to learn the power of acceptance and the importance of actually feeling your feelings, I'd worked out that it was, it, ca it, it was so much harder during those times because there was this pressure to be and feel a certain way, often contrasting to how I actually wanted to feel. There's this pressure to be happy. There's this pressure to be excited. There's this pressure to be, you know, um, pumped up and energized. And, and the pressure comes from, from many different areas. It could be coming from the people around you. Um, it could be coming from obligation, you know, where you don't want to um, put your, um, you know, your negative feelings and, 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 and put them onto the people that you love around you. Um, it can come from, it might not even come from the outside. It might be just from the inside where you just don't want to feel a certain way. And because everybody around you is feeling happy, it's showing you, you know, it's, it's more obvious how shit you feel, you know? And, um, and then there's the judgment. There's the judgment within yourself that I don't want to feel like this. I shouldn't feel like this. Holidays should be a you know a time to to um, to be pumped up and excited and energized, and that creates this whole another extra layer of resistance. Um, so they were the hardest times when I was at my most fragile. Where it was anything to do with an event where I felt like I should be feeling a certain way that I'm not. Um, the more I learned about emotions and what they need. Um, they generally just need to be felt and acknowledged. So you can imagine when there's an event where you feel like you should be a certain way, um, automatically you are in a position where you are denying or wrestling with the very emotion that needs to be acknowledged and felt in order for it to, to pass, right? Um, so then I started to look at those situations differently. Is one, um, you know, I'm 
with acceptance, I'm in this situation right now. And what, for whatever reason you are feeling lonely or you're feeling anxious or sad or whatever it is, you, you are here. That's an emotion that you feel that you can't deny, right? Doesn't mean you necessarily need to get swept up in it and swept up in the dialogue, but the, the, the energetic emotion is here within you. So then what do I do? You know, how, how, how can I turn this around? How can I turn these moments around so that they, I get to the other side of them and I'm not exhausted? I don't know how many of you guys feel exhausted when you get to the end of your holidays, right? You get to the end of your holidays and you're so fucking exhausted. You're generally so exhausted because you've, it takes energy to resist the emotions that you need to feel. Um, so how, how do you turn it around? How did I turn it around? Well, um, I think just that very insight is that I was seeing how much energy was being sucked up by me thinking that I should be feeling a certain way. How much energy was um, taken up from, from me uh, dealing with the, the judgments that I had within myself that, that said, I don't want to feel like this and I shouldn't feel like this. And also I felt quite clueless because this was also before I was ed educated on how to deal with an emotion, like what an emotion needs to be able to pass. Um, so I think the, the obvious fundamental contrast was, was happiness, right? If happiness was over here, happiness, happy holiday season, right? And I was all the way over here which was at the time just um, anxiety and I was also kind of grieving because I felt like I'd lost so much of myself. Um, it was also a time when um, uh, a, a whole sequence of loved ones had passed away as well. Um, and my, my, my wife was also still mourning the loss of her mum and she lost her mum when she was 21. And um, so that triggered a lot within herself and her dad wasn't around, her dad was overseas. So she felt very lonely during um, any type of family orientated gatherings and, and stuff like that. So it's, a, it's quite a like turbulent time. Is I was, I think I was mostly just over getting to the end. Uh, yeah, I think I was, uh, I was over dreading these events and I was also over being exhausted from them by the end. And then have to feel, you know, where do I get my energy from to start the year? I'm fucking exhausted now. Um, so then it became about peace over happiness. You know, like I can, this doesn't have to be like that. I don't have to dread these holidays and I don't have to be exhausted by them. I can make them my own. I don't have to follow suit. I don't just because everybody else says this is a time for happiness. This is a time for relaxation and all that type of stuff. What is it for me? You know, taking the moment to go, what is it? I'm going to use this time. I'm not working. I'm going to use this time to go. What is it that I need? What do I, when I reflect on these holidays, what, what do I want to feel? You know, do I want to feel exhausted and stressed and anxious or do I want to feel you know, and that was the question, what do I want to feel? And the answer that popped into my head is that I just, I just want to feel peace. I just want to feel peace and, um, and almost, you know, cleansed came into my mind. Um, and when I kind of went deeper into the word cleansed, um, I started having memories of, of, of emotions that I've felt in the past where I've allowed them to be there. I've just accepted and surrendered to the emotion. Again, not necessarily the dialogue in the head, but the actual raw sensations, the raw emotions. Now, I, I know that a lot of you guys can identify with this. How do you feel if you've got all this built up anger within you and you go to the gym or you punch the shit out of a punching bag or you go for a, a, a run or, you do something to just really let out that anger. In that very moment, you are surrendered to anger and you get to the other side of it and you feel cleansed. You feel lighter. Um, 
if you've got a, had a session with a psychologist, you know, letting all that out, you're surrendering to whatever undesired emotion um, that you that you 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 feel. Um, if it's sadness, you know, if you've had a, a, an amazing cry. I mean, when I was a teenager, overly emotional. Um, when I was sad, I used to put on Jeff Buckley and Radiohead and just feel sad, you know, just feel sad. And then after a while, it's just like, that emotion's gone. It's gone now. I feel, I feel cleansed, right? So the intention that you bring into these holidays, I think makes a, the world of difference is ask yourself, right? What do I want to feel? How do I want to feel at the other side of them? You know, and you don't have to just do this for the holidays. You can do this whenever you want, but because the holidays can be quite triggering for some is that take charge of that and and ask yourself how do you want to feel um and my um i'd like to inspire maybe instead of happiness shoot for peace because you can be at peace feeling sad you can be at peace feeling lonely you can feel at peace feeling um you know um, afraid or angry right and the beautiful thing about peace is that it inspires surrender and it inspires acceptance and then when you get to the other side of those holidays and you've been in this state of peace that requires you to accept and surrender, guess what? You're not going to be tired. You're going to feel light and you're going to feel cleansed. Um, so that's what I would suggest. And they, they are things, you don't have to do those things in a way that brings other people down. That's something that's going on within you, in your own inner world. You can still go about your day. You can still go about, you know, the... the the festive obligations, if you see them as obligations, you can still be there, but allow yourself to feel how you feel. And you watch what happens. Um, and when I did that, when I did that when I was gigging, you know, on tour, when I removed this expectation that I have to be pumped up and energized and excited for a gig, because I was so fucking terrified, and I just allowed myself to just feel fear and stay present, right? Stay present. Then... Man, I was just, I had so much more energy and it also created different experiences because I wasn't, I wasn't, um, um, what's the word? Relearning, uh, yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't relearning anxiety. I wasn't relearning stress, you know, like I'd get to the other side of those moments and go, wow, that was different. And um, which made me then anticipate that same moment in the future in a different way. Um, so to sum it up, if you're feeling triggered by the holiday season, take charge, ask yourself, what is it that you need throughout this break? What do you think your emotions are trying to tell you? And shoot for peace over happiness. Um, give yourself the opportunity to accept and surrender and allow your feelings to be felt in order for them to pass. And you might actually find that before the holidays are over, the byproduct is you'll probably just feel happier anyway. So that's my two cents. That makes sense? Yeah.